Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers, where today we're going to be having a look at some walkers. Some walking mechanisms uh, to start off with and then some other designs over yonder. Over there. There you go, you can see right there, right there and we've got some more over there. Um, it, this was a requested video by I can't remember who, but someone said, "Hey, can you have a look at do have a look at some walkers?" Um, so I have. Now I started off with looking at uh, some actual walking mechanisms. Uh, this particular mechanism has a name, and it's called a plantigrade machine or something like that. Um, the main or well, the whole point of the idea is it has a it creates essentially a shape of a D where the flat edge is on the ground and it lifts up, goes over, goes flat, lifts up, goes over and goes flat. And you'll be able to see actually if I move over to this one I believe this one's a little bit faster. So as you can see, it, move, it moves along a flat plane, and then it lifts up, and it, you can see it moves over, and once it gets to the that point right there, it goes back down, where it, imagine it would touch the floor, and it would go back along a straight path, like that. So. I've spent a long time designing all these different parts. I was gonna design having a, uh, it was gonna be have a to have a back arm back there, but I never actually ended up using that. You can see this one is just a single axle, where this is just weighted, which basically means this this is on a free bearing right there, and so it means this can actually like swing. Um, and then we've got this one, which is a double wishbone, just not a suspension. A double wishbone mechanism, which essentially makes this bit here rigid, um, which yeah, it overall makes it a lot more stable and it makes it a lot better, as far as I'm aware. So I did more designs, tweaking bits, uh, and then I made a mirror version of this bit, uh, and then I got them together, put them so it's facing outwards so it, you can see this is where the walking starts to work out and then we got to this bit where I added some um, I don't even know what I did on this bit I don't know I think I just copied it and moved it over then I got another I got it again and just cop uh, pasted it so they were attached and uh, inverted the oh no actually I can see what this what the difference is this uh, is outward, so it's uh, arms up upright, and these ones are as in as they get because the arms are directly downwards. And then I attach one of each to this thing so it would actually work. And then I uh, went, if we go over here, I uh, extended the. Oh, I just extended it up. It extended the actual legs so they would be higher off the ground. And you'd think, you can see this, it, it walks. It, it's a bit wonky on that particular leg, I don't really know the reason for that. I think it's, uh, the legs are a bit out of time, but overall, works. I added some, just wheels for some extra suspension because, well, it was in the hope it would fix the issue which you're about to see. Um, but I think that maybe one of the main issues is because I built it out of heavy armour, so it's quite a heavy mechanism. However, I, I don't think anyone's ready for this. And, uh, yeah. Yep. Clang really, really hates me. Like, it has, it has a passion, I feel like, for just, just not wanting to work with me. And it started off, looks like, oh, it's going to work beautifully, but no. No, it's not. It's not going to work beautifully. So we moved away from an actual 
real life mechanism design. And we went for, uh, you know, like pistons and stuff. So if I come over here, uh, yeah, over here, you can see I started designing some legs, added pistons onto the legs, everything worked out well. Um, and that mechanism actually started to work. So I doubled it up and uh, in the hope it would work better. Uh, over here, you sh I actually placed these over here, I should have stayed over here in the first place. Uh, so yeah, over here we uh, let's see. Is this the finished version? It might be, it might not be. Let's see. Press that there you off. go. So this information here told me that uh, the sequences actually worked because that lift, that leg lifted, and that leg lifted. You can see everything moves over. All looks really good. Um. Yep. Moves over nice and slowly. And don't worry about it being all wonky and stuff. It's fine. So it gets it gets to that point. And uh the leg should switch places, but I, I don't think this one's fully you know what? We're gonna go to this one because I believe this one's actually half finished. This is a fairly complex mechanism just because there's quite a lot of stuff going on. If I have a look at each of the actual... You can see I had to name everything. Look at stage one. It's just pistons extending and retracting and starting at different stages. If I look at each of these stages, it's... We've got stuff... It's doing stuff, and then it reverts, moves stuff, you know. All, all the stuff. It goes all the way down, and then on six, it starts there. Uh, start stage one. And, uh, yeah, so this is pretty good. I've got um, actual landing gear things so I could attach to the floor if I wanted to. However, at the moment I haven't done anything with that. Um, if I did want to do that, I would have to add some rotors to the bottom of these heads. Because as you can see, when, when this turns, if this was clamped down to the ground, it wouldn't be able to... Uh, well, it, just, it would explode. It needs to be able to twist. You can see there it's twisting, so it need to have some leeway in that sort of area. Um, but I sort of ditched this design just because it was I felt like it was a bit overly complex, and uh, I found no good way of stopping a walking mechanism in a good spot. My best way of doing it is literally just by turning off the things, uh, turning off the timers. But yeah, so that was that design. Then we moved over to, this is when I started this design, and I was like, this is a lot simpler, this this is a lot cooler, and then I've got to admit it is a lot cooler. So here's my little walker. I could technically make it smaller than that, but you know. And I, I feel like I could, I might make a mech at some point. These legs just look like mech legs to me, where I could actually have like a body which goes up here, have some arms and have some guns on them. Yeah, you, you're going to see a mech very, very soon. Probably in the next video. Um, so it's literally just a another landing gear onto two hinges. Notice these hinges are facing uh, in opposite directions. That, w that way I can have it go both go like a positive and it will just sort of counteract each other and create force. And then on this leg, it's the opposite to that. Um, and I added some edges. So we've got a one of those like packs flat panels attached to this block and then I've got an angle on it just just to make it look good and then under here we actually have two um, rotors there's one there and one here you should be able to see it on this side there you go and they've got that, that's changing it to a small um, it's a small grid essentially on top as you can see all this is small grid and the main reason for that is because I needed to fit more timer blocks and I needed batteries and stuff on it and for how small this is it wouldn't have been very easy so it doesn't matter how big or small these uh, timer blocks are they'll work either way so I thought I might as well just convert to a small grid 
and uh, if I start press number one and toggle this off it should walk in a straight line you have to give it a sec to get back into the swing of it but then it will lock now it's, it's gonna go backwards don't go backwards on me come on no go forward now this is the thing when I'm talking about I don't quite know how to work, how to stop it because turning off them uh, uh, turning them off doesn't necessarily make it so it um, works right, this one's just gonna walk in reverse apparently either way doesn't matter if it's in forward or it's backwards you can still see so what essentially what it does is it it moves over and then right as it stops it changes this lock so it just it just switches lock and then that that way uh, it can slide across the floor so this can work on two legs and it works completely fine um I'm just kind of turn it off so I was like yeah that's cool I'm gonna design a uh, little rover a uh, little trailer thing just to carry some cargo and there's no reason why this doesn't work hopefully this could there you go this goes on a straight line magic and yeah uh, I just you know added some wheels onto this just for the fun of it it'll, it'll just push it along now all the one thing all these designs have in common is they don't turn which is a little bit of, of an issue all of these just go in a sort of straight line, but that's the same for everything, because first I was trying to work out how the mechanism would actually, of course, work. Um, so, you'll see in this next little bit, the next uh, couple of things, I started to work on steering. So, there was a couple of ideas for steering. I was thinking of maybe some gyro systems. However, a lot of these things didn't work for one main reason. Because when you lock to the ground, you can't twist at all. And uh, you'll see here, I tried two different techniques, right? So the, well, the first one I did was uh, gyros, but that didn't work, and I apparently never saved a copy of it, so I can't actually show you it. But the second idea, which actually worked a little bit better, I'm using the custom turret controller, and we have a hinge here between these two. And... Uh, it, the hinge is limited, so if I come through here, I've limited the hinge to 25 degrees on either side, so if, if I go into the control here, I can wiggle this, however I can't actually crush it, I've, it has a limit, so it won't destroy itself essentially. But yeah, you can see how what my idea was here, you know, be able to just start, start off a walking mechanism. So turn on the actual timers, let the thing walk forward. And yeah, my idea was like, yeah, it'll work fine. So I attached it to the bottom bit. Give it a sec, it just takes a second to kick in for this one. I don't quite know the reason why. Wait for it. It'll walk in a straight line. There you go. So yeah, I was, I was like, this is this is cool. And I was like, maybe, maybe I can actually get it to turn. But no, it, it either way, it didn't turn. It just did. It just didn't because that wasn't attached to the ground. It didn't work. So I decided to maybe turn them back on and just see if this could work better. The reason I turned it off because I was like, this is just going to break it and everything is going to be clangy and destroy itself. Um, and it is clangy, but it, it, it works to a degree. So you sort of just have to be light on the turning. So you just have to put a bit of force in so as soon as it detaches you can twist it a little bit. You can see it is a, it is a glitchy, but it will actually turn. Now, if anyone has any ideas of how I could make a better mechanism for turning, or ha have a, has made a rover before in Space Engineers, not rover, a walker, Please um, let me know. T tell me what you did to make this work. Because I'm fairly out of ideas. 
I don't. Maybe if I ended a uh, rotor to the bottom of this one, so it could pivot. I don't know. I've tried quite a few things, and so far I haven't found really anything to work very well. This one works, and I like it. I, I love this little thing. I haven't built on it properly yet, but um, yeah, you know, this is actually fairly stable even when it's moving, as you can see. Very, very shaky when it's turning, but overall, generally stable. All of this is small blocks. I added a little thing here so I could walk between them. Um, this is large blocks here, uh, but this is a small block, and you, you can just you can just build straight off of it. So I could make like a living. I could make a base, a base on a walker, which just seems like a fun idea. Also, the one problem, I f the main problem, other than clang, is when you turn it, sort of tries to lift itself up. Which doesn't break it, but it's not the best. Let's see if I can. There you go. If I can strain it up just a little bit. But yeah, that that these are the walkers that I built. Um, like I say, I'm gonna be taking these leg mechanisms, seeing if I can make a sort of a uh, mech thing. So it'd be a two-legged, two-legged thing. Um, so like I say, if you have any ideas of how I could make a two-legged mech like this actually be able to t uh, turn, uh, I'd love to hear it. Otherwise I might just have to resort to uh, gyros. Because the one thing is with this mechanism, there is a split second where both of them are detached. And that's when you can do a little bit of turning. So I'll, I'll have to look more into it, but... For now, uh, yeah, that's all I've got. That's all I've done for the rovers. Not rovers, uh, walkers. If you uh, enjoyed this video or found anything useful, uh, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel if you're new. I'm uh, still new to all of this stuff on YouTube, and uh, your support so far has been absolutely immense. You seem to love uh, all this stuff, and I appreciate every single one of you giving me a comment, all, all the nice words you give. Just such a nice feeling. Um, but yeah, leave a comment uh, below, either talking about how you think I can make it steer, or uh, if you want to see something else shown off in Space Engineers, a different mechanism or a concept or anything, just leave me a comment, I'll have a look at it, and if I, if I, think, it's, if I think I can do it, well, I'll comment you. I'll give you a comment and I'll say what I think. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching everyone, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, please consider liking, subscribing, like I said, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!